What day are we on now? Is this day three of the Twister stuff? Yeah. yeah. Good morning, welcome to day three of our Twister location scouting, scout out, or whatever you want to call it. What do you want to call it? Tour. Tour. Yesterday wasn't the best. Um, there was literally nothing to tell you what was what. Um, however, we did go through a massive thunderstorm to get to our hotel that night, didn't we? Yep. Yeah. Gina wasn't impressed. We went through a massive thunderstorm, we saw a car on the road in front of us get hit by a bolt of lightning. In fact, everything was getting hit by a bolt of lightning. It was all quite impressive. Gina's not feeling so impressive, are you? So you're supposed to like, turn the camera around to yourself and hold it away. For somebody that did film a media study, she has no idea how to use a camera. I'm not here to be your camera woman. Yes, you are. Sorry, to disappoint. <laughs> So anyway, we're just coming up onto the first location for today, and our first location is what, Gina? I don't know. She doesn't know. She's not read the list at all. It's the flying cow scene. And we are literally, turn the camera around, coming up to the flying cow scene. So this is the seat, this is the bit where Bill and Joe are driving down this hill. And then this is now the bit where Bill and Joe cross over the river. Well, it's not the river, it's the edge of, the edge, it's the edge of um, Wushunga Lake. From this direction. From this direction. That's why I've come this way, it's slightly longer the way we came. So right about now is where you would see the cow in the film. Cow. <laughs> the cow. What did it take? Actually, I think that was the same one. Well done. Ten out of ten. So in the film as well, you'll see that there's two sides of the scene that they're shooting. They're coming down one side and then they're coming down the other side. So they're coming at it from both directions, but. In the film, they actually follow that corner around like we just did then. I'm just going to go up here now and we'll turn around and you can have a look at it from the other way. Is that a dog? Random dog. And it's like literally in the middle of nowhere, this dog. Ooh, you don't know how to break, my friend. I do. You don't know how to break. It's got a collar. It's all right, it's, it's love then. It could be from this house. So this is from the other direction now. Like I said in the, in the film, you can tell because the, the telegraph pole, power lines or whatever you want to call them, are on both sides in the film as the cars, as Bill and Joe are crossing the river, lake, or whatever you want to call it, the flying cow scene. So okay, as you can see now, we've got this road that's going down towards the lake. You can just see that the bush here on the photo is that bush there. The road's curving the same. And the horizon also looks about right as well. So this is definitely the location. And obviously this is the location where there's a flying cow. Um, yeah, this is the one from Universal Studios, but for illustrative purposes, that's where the cow's flying. So, okay, I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but I'm going to attach this cow to this Mavic, and I'm going to make this cow fly, 
which would be the first real cow, although it's not a real cow, but it'd be the first cow that's actually flown over it, it's not CGI. Right. <laughs> right, we have a cow attached to a drone on some fishing wire. Sorry Bird sinking. Can you land my cow back now, please? Cow. Another cow. cow. <laughs> <laughs> cow. Andrew Cromart YouTube, subscribe, press that notification button. All accessories he's used are in the description box below. <laughs> what are you Give it a big thumbs up! <laughs> That's that my sarcastic wife for you. Is that not what you do on these things? Right. Only an hour behind schedule because of the damn cow, but hey ho. So the other night at the cinema, we met some nice people. Um, sorry, cinema, I keep calling it cinema. It was a drive-in. And um, after talking to them, they said, they suggested that we should come to Brahms as we're in um, Oklahoma and it's a no oh, and it's only Oklahoma that actually has these. So we're um, visiting one today. We're in Blackpool, so we'll see how it is. I fancy a milkshake, don't you? Why not? Such a shame that that won't stand up, you know. GoPro, you really should have made the base of your grip flat so that it'd stand up. Yes, 245. All right. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I've just gone for the triple burger. Of course I have. Did you get straws? Yes. We get pink straws. Oh. I actually don't want to open it. I just want to take it out. We'll leave it in this wrapper. We'll grab one before we go. Really good milkshake. Crinkly chips. Crinkly chips. Well, they're hot. Wow. So seriously, if um, if you're ever in Oklahoma, you seriously need to come to this place. Okay, that triple burger was hard work. I think it's actually worth mentioning that it is currently only 11 o'clock in the morning.
Gina, so whereabouts are we right now? Wakita! Wakita is famous for... That mix house. And also being in... Twister. The movie Twister, correct. Well, that's what your whole vlog's about, I'm sure people know that by now. Do you know where you're going? Yep. Are you sure? Nope. <laughs> We're here. Here where? Here where? This is where Aunt Meg's house was. On this bit of grass here? Yeah, hello. Oh, yeah, actually, it's in Aunt Meg's house. Look. This is Aunt Meg's. This is where our house was. Is it that one? Come on in. And then from here, now you've got the water tower. And that's that water tower there. Obviously, some of the tree, quite a lot of the trees have changed, haven't they? And also, the front that house has completely changed as well. But this is the site where it was. It's mad, isn't it? Mm hmm. Imagine being in this little town and then you get a massive film crew coming. So this is where our Meg's house once stood. So have you had the museum here since they since it was when they shot the film? Uh-huh. I, I was reading on the internet, this used to be where the like the filming base was it? Mm-hmm, the location office. Mm -hmm. For twenty years we've been here. We kept thinking we'd get to retire someday, but people people, people still keep coming. For you to see, anyway. <laughs> see, this is my look. This is my visitor map from, you know, from all over. overseas. Yeah, there's quite a lot of pins from from Europe, isn't there? Uh huh. Yeah. This was the first 20 years, and we started a new map last year for the United States. But I can't find a good uh, European map or, you know, overseas map that isn't humongous. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, well. That's why we were chosen, I mean, to make the movie, is because we are so small and so away from everything, because they closed our main street down from April through August. Oh, right, okay. Right here. So it had to be somewhere where we didn't have pass-through traffic very much, and people didn't mind going a block out of the way, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but, uh, That's yeah. really impressive. Yeah. So. You can see why they chose it now. And then our, our BP, those are all... Uh, GPS locations of storm chasers. We saw that at the Sorry. time when it when it happened, yeah. So, um, so we saw it on the internet when when Bill passed and um, passed away. Yeah. So the, it's, actually, it's actually my brother who sent it to me because my brother lives in North Carolina. Oh, okay. Um, he sent it over to me and he goes, "Have you seen this on?" Because he's got the same weather program uh -huh. that was showing like all the all the reports. And I was like, "Wow, that's really cool, that." <laughs> Being from Texas originally, which is the state south of us, of course, um, he was very comfortable in Oklahoma, showed up in his boots and jeans and brought a football and played catch with everyone. Oh, and so right. in the movie, you see uh, Belcher tossing a football up and down yeah. when they show up at Aunt Meg's. That's the football. And uh, Paxton donated it to the, to the museum, as well as the pinball machine. And uh, we'll let this warm up a bit. <laughs> Warner Brothers told us we'd have visitors for a couple of years. So we thought, yeah, we can, you know, we can do turn something. this into a museum for a couple yeah. of years, not a problem. They let us have the Jeep for the first two years. So we had the Jeep and the Dorothy out front and 
you know, and then it just kept continuing. Kept 20 years later. <laughs> yeah. Of course, we did have, you know, a large, massive group the first two years, and I'm sure what we have now is not what Warner Brothers considers a lot of visitors, but we get anywhere from a dozen to two dozen a day all summer all right. long while I'm open. Warner Brothers actually gave us most of the pictures on this table to display all because right, okay. they knew we were going to have a few visitors. And everything, everything in Wakita ended up in the debris. I mean, it was torn down because of the, the movie is about tornadoes, so it's going to have debris. And so we were actually five blocks of sidewalk to sidewalk, head high debris for a while. So, uh -huh. you know, it took them over a month to clean it up. Yeah. So a lot of wow. very realistic looking debris. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hang on one more second. This is a set dresser. See that guy right there? Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. He's going through throwing out stuff on top. To make it look a bit more realistic. Yes. But see, you know. Some of it's his head height or more. And they, there's not really much of a good path through it for the truck to go no. through, right? Yeah. They went through a few sets of tires that night. <laughs> this is what you saw of Aunt Meg's in the movie. Yeah. yeah. This is what it looked like when they started. It was an old house in Waukita that we were going to tear down. Oh. And that's kind of how they found us. We had had previous uh, hail lightning damage <laughs> a couple of years prior to them coming. So it actually happened in June, which got all of our harvest. So we had no income. We had all our roofs destroyed by this humongous hail. And so uh, there were a lot of buildings that just didn't get repaired e because economically it wasn't feasible. And so we were going to tear down a lot of these buildings. We had about a dozen through the town. And so they said, oh, what are you tearing down? Let us do it for you. Use it as our debris. We'll clean it up for you. And then, you know, we said, thank you very much. And uh, yeah. so that was one of them we were going to tear down. It had no utilities or anything. You can see they, a lot of plywood, plastic, and paint. And this kind of stuff is what they make sets from. But they sodded the ground. They planted trees and shrubs and everything. We were, uh, you know, better homes and garden town by the time... Uh, they finished with us. <laughs> and then they tore it all down, and we were a disaster when they finished with us. But uh, anyway, this was the inside, and then this is how they're tearing it down. It's amazing how much, just, just, over, just the scale of how much has been, been wrecked just for the film, isn't it? It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Of course, 20 years ago, they didn't have the, what, green screen, you'd call yeah. it, like they do now. Yeah. But... Uh, Nowadays, I'm sure they wouldn't do near what they did then, but it's sure no, probably not. very realistic. Yeah. And then here's one of the buildings they tore down for us. You can see uh, oh, how the holes in yeah, the roof and stuff, how bad it was. And then the start of the debris. And then this is right in front of our post office, which is right here. The farmhouse at the beginning of the movie where Joe was a little girl yeah. was filmed just outside of town. Oh, was it? Right, okay. It looked like this when it started. Well, and they, they dressed it all back up again to look like uh -huh. that. So that's what it looked like inside and out. Is there anything still there now or no? Before they tore it down and brought it to Wakita for debris. <laughs> so it was kind of a, a juggling act. They fixed up the farmhouse, and then when they were fixing up Wakita, they were filming at the farmhouse, and then when they were filming in Wakita, they were tearing the farmhouse down, and then they were filming the torn down farmhouse while they were tearing down Wakita, and then they filmed the torn down Wakita. So yeah, yeah. it was just back and forth, back and yeah. forth. But it was only like six miles away, so yeah. it wasn't, wasn't a large distance. It just you know was the timing thing. And then here's, here's part of the debris. You can see they had a helicopter. Jeez. They had a helicopter filming and dropping down and rescuing people and all kinds of stuff. Here's kind of an idea of how they do sets. See, they put a, a telephone pole frame in, put plywood on it, and then they cover it with this fiberglass. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Have, have this in all kinds of patterns and things and, and paint it up. And, you know, this became that in no time flat. I hated to go to work every day because I knew I was going to miss a building going up yeah. or coming down or something. 
so pretty neat. You know, if you didn't get an autograph or a picture with Paxton or something, it was your own fault. I mean, they were yeah. here a month and a half. So, so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a lady from town uh, with Paxton getting her wow. picture taken with a football. And then here's Helen Hunt with a couple of guys talking. And I thought it. Yeah, there's one of the, the sets they built. Here's a few autographs. It looks like you're taking a selfie. Pictures in here. Oh, hi. Sorry, I didn't hear you come in. <laughs> 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 I had to get ripped to work about that. Good. So we are currently on the I-35, possibly in the middle of Kansas, we're not quite sure. We've been on it for about an hour, an hour and a quarter. And we've literally been seeing that. Honey. Fields. Nothing but fields. Fields as far as the eye can see. So anyway, the reason why I was this little bit of B-roll or fill-in, it's not really B-roll, I suppose it's more fill-in. Oh, there you go, Gina, look at that view now. That's where we are, guys. You got it in your hand. Okay. Giant Cheetos. Oh. I mean, these things are monsters. What is normal about that? <laughs> in other news, there is no speed cameras anywhere. Do you think Daniel have a random guy on the side of Oh, that's a speed gun. That's a different thing. They don't have fixed speed cameras. Trying to generate 45 million pounds a week in revenue for London City. What they have is trust. Although we have been on this toll road for a very long time. Yeah, well, so we're on, we're on the I-35. We went through and got a little ticket. I've got it. Gina's got the ticket. Um, that, was, that was miles ago. And we've not been for another toll yet, so. We're kind of dreading how much the ticket's actually going to be when we get to the other end. I'm hoping it's not hundred dollars, Gina, because um, otherwise I would have driven the long way around. I feel like if it was a hundred dollars, nobody would be on this road. Well, look at it, Gina. There is hardly anybody on the road. The road is quite empty. American roads also make funny noises as well. Mm. Like especially with the concrete seams. Uh, <laughs> the state of Montana. Because Gina's just decided to shove a giant Cheeto into her mouth. She's now wetting herself laughing because of this Cheeto. <laughs> Honestly, the biggest Cheeto. In <laughs> Contemplating giving up and going home. <laughs> fed up with his driving now. He's fed up with the driving. Is that level? Don't you think it was like Schwarzenegger? What, Johnny Five? Gina thinks that the Karma Gimbal looks like um, Johnny Five from well, Look Who's Talking. Johnny Five from Look Who's Talking. <laughs> it's not Look Who's Talking. You're fed up Short with circuit. Now. Yeah, just because both of my knees hurt. Got the longest day tomorrow. Woo! Seven looking forward to that. Look, he just wobbles by himself, like. Look at all these billboards. Americans just love billboards. We're in the middle of nowhere. Who cares? McDonald's. McDonald's in 60 miles. <laughs> That's what it actually just said. Brahms. Brahms. There's a Brahms up here. I thought it was only in Oklahoma. And we've got Freddy's steak burgers and refrigerated truck wash out. Our car can do with a wash in fairness. Well, next exit. Sponges. No. Spangle. Spangles. Oh. They get smarter on top of their milkshakes. That just said except Jesus Christ. We'll be so we're going to cut away now because we're nearly running out of battery. Um, we'll catch you all in a bit. <laughs>